Corral. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting to step one, step two, before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting the takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 36 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion, Hannon the Baron. And now with producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back to your corners, come out for me. been on each other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we get the kickboxing match tonight? Well, you just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Big calls for punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, and that kick is blocked. Nice one, two there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. Beautiful kick.
good punch lands. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. Nice head kick. Trying to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Morale. from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here Let's as go, our guys, next fight. round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight. Combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Barrow gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You got to do better defensively. Ooh, head kick lands. was hurt. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, man. How many head kicks can one man absorb? before getting separated from his conscience. One, normally, <laughs> this guy has a great chin, but if he takes any more, he's gonna be sleeping. Look at him drive his chin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Well, as my favorite raccoon Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much to avoid a punch. Big punch lands through the middle. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Goes back to that left kick once again. the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, straight right. Big combination. Big kick. That 
kick blocked by Barrow. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. That was the nice right. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, beautiful jab there, man. It's like you know what's coming, can't stop it. I mean, you have to anticipate that jab coming or he will batter and bruise you with that single strike. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked about his powerful kicks, how he attacks all sides of the body. Good start for him tonight. That was so impressive to see someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice punch man. with that attempt. Ball lands the double jab. Those are going to start to take their effect. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Left-right combo is good. Morales lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Beautiful strike. by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. There's no give on that leg kick. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by me. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Big shot land. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Oh, uppercut. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. And he connects with the punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Tags him with the left hand. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust. We're in over. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. He's out. He got him. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Pinpoint.
second strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at 31 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce Contrera Lee! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout.